I have collected the worst one-star thrift store reviews in my hometown, and today we're putting it to the test. Now there's only one goal for this challenge, and that is to try and find $100 worth of profit in every store I go in. And if I can do that in all four thrift stores in today's video, I'll be giving away my favorite item to one of you guys who are watching the video. Now I've actually had to come prepared for this day as well because one of the reviews has told me to wear a mask, some sunnies, and a hat. So I'm ready to roll. This could be a pretty interesting day. So the first store I'm at is Lifeline, and Bill said that there was no parking here. To be fair, Bill's actually right. If you can see here, cars are parking literally anywhere to try and get into this place. Maybe it's because it's so good and there's a bunch of items that we can find to sell for a profit. We're trying to find our 100 bucks. This is the first store. Let's get into Lifeline and see what they've got. So this is the first item that stared at me. The Rupkel jumper at $20, unfortunately just a little bit too steep. The Tune Squad jumper, double XL in size, $15. I had a look on eBay, comps were going for about $35, so I left that one as well. All right, we've had a really good start. I've jumped into the shoe section, and the first pair that I came across were these hardened step backs, and they're in, they're in literally like new condition. Check these out. Um, Awesome size as well, US size 13. There's a $25 price tag on there, but I think we should be able to, based on the comps I was seeing over in the US, I think we can get about $100 for them. Um, so I'm going to account $100 towards the numbers that we need today for this little store run. Um, the other ones that I found here as well were these Nike um, Thea's. There it is there, the Nike Thea's. These are a pair of women's US size 10 and a half. They're only $15, um, but they should go into about 50 as well, I would say. So 15 and a 50, that's actually one of the ones I've sold the most of over the last three years. So epic find there. And then the last one that we had were these ASICS GT2000 shoes as well. Um, again, in really good condition, $15. These ones, I believe, are a men's eight and a half. Um, men's eight and a half, plain black colorway is good as well. And that's another $50 too. So total so far in this store alone, $200 out of three pairs of shoes. Uh, we just need to find another 50 bucks to make up our $100 profit. All right, we've had a bit of a win there, guys. I've been able to use this, which is the loyalty card for Lifeline. Now, that's been able to get the price of $55 down to $35. And the shipping, I believe, will be two small satchels and one medium satchel for these three pairs of shoes. That means that my shipping cost is going to be about $29. And when you add that into the e-profit calculator, you'll see that these three pairs of shoes with a $35 purchase price should go on to net me about $111 worth of profit. So Bill, thank you very much for getting me out here to Lifeline. This has been a great turnaround with just three listings. We've got three more stores to go. Let's hope we can get the same sort of results. The next thrift store on the list is the Salvation Army and Sarah has brought me here. She said that this place smells horrendous and she couldn't even last 10 seconds in here. So that's the first thing that I'm gonna to put to the test. Can I walk in the door and just be in there for 10 seconds? Once I can do that, let's then try and find $100 worth of profit. It's not too bad. It's not as bad as what Sarah thinks. All right, I've just been raiding the DVD rack in this store and I've just come across Prisoner Cell Block H, one of the rarest DVDs that you can find. Now, this is just one volume. It's volume 36. It's $4 in store, but it goes on to sell for $40 on eBay. So that is a huge grab. Um, the next one that I've got here as well is an old 1980s classic of The, Sim uh, the Simpsons, Humphreys. There it is there, Humphrey B. Bear. Who remembers that guy? Well, he's only $2 and he goes for about, oh, about $20 on eBay. So that's a good little grab. This one surprised me. This is Doc Martin Complete Series 9. If you find this series, it goes for a lot of money, but even Series 9 goes for $40. And we're only paying, again, another $4 in store. And then I found two seasons here. We've got the second and the third season of Malcolm in the Middle. Um, that one's a really good show. I think there's, I think there's five seasons of that show. Um, I, try, I try to have a look across this entire wall for all five, but I could just find the two seasons. They're two bucks a piece, um, so we're four dollars in, and that should go. Uh, that's probably the worst of the bunch. That should go for about twenty dollars. Um, so what's that? We've got twenty. Twenty is forty plus forty. Forty. 
That's $120, guys. We've just found $120 bucks and we've only paid $8, $10, $14. 14 into $120. We're not quite yet at our $100 worth of profit, but that's an awesome start for a very low cost. Needing another find to hit the $100 in profit, I found these Metal Militia. We've also got them crossed with Etnies. This is a really good skateboarding shoe brand, but the collaboration with Metal Militia, the comps on eBay are really quite good. You're talking anywhere between $80 to $100. I'm going to go ahead based on the condition of these and qualify them at about an $80 sale price, and that puts our haul up to $200, which ultimately means we're now going to get our $100 of profit. So a big thank you to Sarah for getting us out to the Salvo store. Yet another $100 in profit, and the place didn't even stink. All right, so I've made it to my third thrift store of the day. This one is a Vinnie's, a St. Vincent de Paul. And Kiji has said, it has been a long time since I used to visit. Surprisingly, a staff had no smile, no conversation, just pointed to a card reader when I made a payment. Won't be back one star. So I'm gonna go in here and test the staff's friendliness. And I'm also gonna try and find my third $100 worth of profit for the day. Actually never been to this store and it's quite, it's quite cool actually. There's Bit of a donation centre out the back here. Hi there. Hello. How are you? Yes, well, thank you. That's good. Oh, you got plenty of DVDs. Yes, I've sold a lot. You've sold a lot? Oh, that's good. Well, the staff have made a pretty decent start. I had a bit of a look through the DVD section. This was the first one that I found, McLeod's Daughters. Uh, goes for about $25 on eBay. Sold it a few times before, so that was a really cool grab. Plenty of bargains in here. Oh, this is bargain warehouse. Is this the best store on the Gold Coast? Yes, it is. Yeah, it is my word. Oh, you really? <laughs> That's because we're here. That's right. No other reason. It's just because we're here. It's the staff. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, you guys seem like a friendly staff bunch. On exactly. Staff on Wednesday. <laughs> staff on a Wednesday. So you're telling me I picked the right day? Yes, yes, because we're in competition with those Thursday people. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Good to know, but also a little bit conflicting. Did Kiji come in on a Thursday and are they the bad op shop people? These guys in here were doing a fantastic job at pumping up the Wednesday crowd. I was having a good time in here. I was also having a good time seeing these video games, but unfortunately, nothing was pricing up for a profit. I went into their main store and I actually found these, a really nice pair of Nike shoes. Um, weirdly, they were only selling for about 60 bucks on eBay, so the $40 purchase price in store just seemed a little bit too much but I've struck absolute gold in the DVDs, guys. Check this little run out. I've got Futurama, the complete box set, $15 in store, $60 on eBay. That's a no-brainer. We've also got some Blacklist Seasons. These are only $2. TV show seasons in this store, two bucks a piece. Amazing. 20 bucks each there, that's $40. UFC PS4, that's a $40 game. Got pretty excited about that, but unfortunately, yeah, there's just a FIFA 19 hiding in there. Always check your discs. Scott and Bailey, really good show. Should get about $45 for that set. This kitty's building up really quickly here. Ben-Hur, uh, that was going for about $20. We had Ancient Aliens, Season 1 and 2. Should get about $25 for that. This one's huge. Gilbert and Sullivan, $75 worth of value there. And then have a look at this. For $2 a piece, $24 in, I found every single episode of Bones. Should get about $75, bringing us up to $340. Well, to be honest with you, I don't know what KG was on about. The stuff in there, at least on a Wednesday anyway, were delightful. Now, Michelle has brought me along to the final thrift store of the day, hence these horrendous sunglasses, the mask and the hat. She said that I need to be wearing all of this to protect myself from the staff in this Salvo store. So, I'm gonna roll in here, try and find our hundred bucks. Let's do it. First item up was this Orlando Magic New Era hat. I love selling my hats. This one at $5 though, I don't know, 50-50, I just passed on it. I just left it. I think we can do better. I had a look in the shoe section and unfortunately these Nike Pegasus 34s, which are a great pair of shoes, I always love to find them. Um, just the soles a little bit, a little bit worn on this occasion. You can see up the top there, there's just a bit of a, a wear and tear at $10, I had to say no. Uh, I felt super strange walking around with a mask and sunnies and a hat, but um, 
we battled on. And uh, seven dollars here for rain DVDs was just as bad as it was wearing glasses at a mask in store. Um, so I kept moving on, I had a look around the entire store, and to be honest, it was terrible. So one thing that Michelle, one thing that Michelle failed to let me know about was the fact that the prices in this store here are absolutely horrendous. We're meant to have ticked off this challenge. Look, okay, this is what we're gonna do. I do want to achieve this challenge. I want to get $100 profit, maybe on the drive home, if I can go into a couple of stores to make up the 100 bucks, because I want to do this giveaway for you guys. We've worked so hard today. We've found so many good items together. Stick with me. I'm going to get this giveaway for you. Geez, I'm glad I pushed on, guys. Check this out. We've got a pair of Jordan golf shoes, something I've hardly, well, to be honest, never seen before. They were only $8 in store, and check the comps out on eBay. These shoes go for well over $100. In the condition that these are in, US size 12, I think I should be able to get about 100 bucks. These I should be able to get about roughly $35 for, I'm going to say. New Balance 247s, they're a pretty decent shoe. The New Balance brand does really well for me. And then I've also got these. These are a pair of just stock standard Nike running shoes. I should get yet again $40 odd dollars for those. So the kitty's sitting now at $175. I've got two little items that are going to round out our $100 worth of profit here. I've got this Rafael Nadal tennis Nike branded hat. Should get about $25 for that. Should also get another $25 for this hat right here, which is Visla. A really good surf brand. Should get $25. Brings us to $225. $100 bucks profit. Well, a massive day guys, but we finally got there. $400 worth of profit from technically four thrift stores. Now the giveaway, we're gonna be doing it. We're gonna be doing the Metal Militia Etnies. I'm gonna put the Etnies up for grabs. They're an awesome pair of shoes. Should get about 80 bucks for them. All you need to do to be in the draw is hit the subscribe button on the channel. It's as simple as that. Hit subscribe, comment the keyword Etnies so I know that you've subscribed. And then from there, I'll draw a winner and let you guys know in the comments. If you enjoyed this sort of thrifting style video, there's another video for you to check out right here. Appreciate you being here, guys. Look forward to seeing you soon.